Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of AndrewsFootball.com, and Cheeseheads, welcome to my second Packers video. Now, if you watched my first Packers video, I got DK Metcalf uh, going to Green Bay with the 12th pick in, in the 2019 draft. So, who do the Packers take with the 30th pick in, in the 2019 draft? Now, keep in mind, uh, most of you have already done this, but if you haven't, there's an awesome article. I saw, I found it on the Bleacher Report app. Uh, basically, it's uh, regarding the Aaron Rodgers, Mike McCarthy situation. And I did something I, I don't recommend is I tried to argue with Packers fans because I thought that Aaron Rodgers, Mike McCarthy, but most of all, the, the general manager really looked bad in this situation. And uh, the person I got in disagreement with, he's like, well, they're just disgruntled teammates. They've had other guys come out and say, here's the thing about Aaron Rodgers. This isn't the first time I've heard this about Aaron Rodgers. And, and here's, here's the logic I tried to present in this argument. You don't hear this about Tom Brady. You don't hear this about Drew Brees. You've never heard this about Pete Manning, but you've heard this before about Aaron Rodgers. And, and it, 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 here's something else you got to understand. I'm not a Packers fan. Uh, I'm not really a fan of, of any of the teams in the NFC North. Of course, I'm a Mike Zimmer fan. Uh, Luke G's Film Review, if, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this or checked it out yet, it's an awesome channel about the Lions, but they break down um, NFL in general. A lot of awesome content. They break down uh, the NFL draft, which I really like. And, um, you know, of course, um, I'm drawing a brain freeze here. <laughs> Uh, the court, uh, the coach for the Chicago Bears, Matt Nagy, uh, was, of course, the offensive coordinator here in uh, Kansas City. I, I remember uh, they were talking about him as, a, as when he was just a quarterback's coach. As people were saying, this guy's going to be a future NFL head coach two years later. He is a head coach, and he takes Bears to the playoffs. So, phenomenal coach. So, I mean, I can say that I like all the teams. But I'm, are you saying, hey, which one are you a fan of? I'm not really. A fan, so I don't have a dog in the fight about the Packers. So I'm giving you an unbiased Packers opinion, and my unbiased Packers opinion is when he's at his best, I'm 44, I've never seen a quarterback play better than Aaron Rodgers. Never. I honestly think Aaron Rodgers is best is the greatest quarterback who's ever lived. Uh, the greatest running back who ever lived is, is Jim Brown. The greatest quarterback who I ever lived, my humble opinion, is Johnny Yu, but the greatest quarterback I've ever seen, I think at his best, the greatest quarterback he's ever played will, will be Aaron Rodgers. Um, that said, there are some negative characteristics, and because of this article, I, now, any type of journalism is going to have some fiction, some fact. Um, I'm, I'm not calling anybody a liar, but it's it's somebody's point of view, which which may or may not be proceed correctly uh, and that's a different story before I you know drag this on to make this like a five-hour video interesting read take some points from it but bottom line uh, one thing that has been clear about the article was that there is a very good chance that the Packers are looking to move on from Aaron Rodgers here in the near future now they and uh, now what they did is they made Aaron Rodgers the NFL's highest paid player he is, without injury, he's going to be the Packers quarterback in, in the near future. But here's the thing about the Green Bay Packers. They have 10 draft picks. They have extra picks in, in the first round, the fourth round, and the sixth round. And is it a possibility that they're going to trade some of their draft capital for extra 2020 draft picks because they may be looking to move on from Aaron Rodgers in 2020, 2021. And then they're going to use those draft picks to draft quarterback here maybe – next year or in two years from now. Keep in mind, two years from now, Trevor Lawrence will be the first player chosen in the 2021 draft. Is it a possibility that Green Bay may try to do some blockbuster trade to trade up for him? You're going to have to get the number one for that kid. Um, again, that's a different story for a different time. But one thing I want to be clear, uh, there's a possibility that what the Packers could be doing is trading for future picks in 2020. 2021 to try to move on from Aaron Rodgers and that's something I think that the Packers may be considering in this draft because you have 10 draft picks and and they've also signed players in free agency so there's a chance that the Packers could be trading for extra draft capital trading up or trading down uh, so now if you've been watching my videos you know I'm not doing trades 
So I picked the best possible player that, that I thought the Packers would, would use. And to me, DK Metcalf at 12 is a perfect fit. Now, I've seen uh, TJ Hawkinson. Uh, I've seen Noah Fant. Uh, I've seen a few defensive players. But most of them are saying, hey, we're going to build through the offense because they spent some money on, on defense through free agency. So, you know, get Rodgers some help. And how are you going to do that? Well, for me, I think it's DK Metcalf because you get wide receiver number one. Am I saying he's the best receiver in the draft? I'm not saying that, but universally considered uh, by most draft personnel, GMs, DK Metcalf is going to be the first receiver chosen. Most people think he's the best wide receiver in the draft. Plus, team him with Aaron Rodgers, and wow, he, he could have a huge year. So if, if my prediction's correct, uh, for you fantasy owners, take a good look at DK Metcalf because him with Rodgers could, could be a lot of fun to watch. So... The whole point of this show is, who are the Packers taking with 30? So, without further ado, uh, I have uh, the Green Bay Packers with the 30th pick in the 2019 draft. I have them taking Josh Jacobs, the running back out of Alabama. And, and to me, this is the Green Bay Packers' dream come true. Here you go. You get wide receiver number one, and you get running back number one. Now, do I think Josh Jacobs is going to be available at 30? I no, obviously the way I got my mock, yes, I do. But is there a team that he could go, you know, sooner to? Is there a team that likes him higher? Is there a team that could trade up? I actually think Green Bay could trade up for this guy because I think they could use some help in running back. And there's a lot of good running backs that are going to be available in middle rounds. And because they have draft picks, they, they could go a variety of different ways with pick 30. I thought about Brian Burns here. Uh, he's still available according to the mock draft. You can never have too many pass rushers. So that's the reason why I was, I was thinking Burns here for a minute. Um, an interesting possibility. Why not double dip on Ole Miss? Get, get DJ, D, DK Metcalf pick number 12. Get A.J. Brown pick number 30. Get the, get the college teammates together. Why not? Um, Hollywood Brown from, from OU. Wow, because because you go ahead and, and you lost Randall Cobb as your slot receiver, we'll replace him with with a guy who's very similar to Randall Cobb, possibly a little more of an upside uh, to Randall Cobb. Nothing against Randall Cobb, but I mean this guy, a lot of people think would have been a uh, wide receiver number one. That Liz Frank surgery, I got him out of round one only because of that. So spoiler alert, I don't have him going. Uh, 31 or 32, but I think if healthy, this guy's going to be a first round pick. So that's something the doctors are going to have to uh, deal with because if you take a look at this guy, hey, there's no health issues, there's no problems. Let's make this guy a first round pick. I don't have a problem with that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they double dip with wide receivers here in the first round. But to me, I'm thinking, hey, you get wide receiver number one, get running back number one. This makes Aaron Rodgers super happy uh, because you have added weapons to build that offense. You spend a ton of money in free agency on defense, so no excuse not to make the playoffs because both these guys would, would play day one. It's kind of funny because Jacobs would be day one starter. DK Metcalf may not be day one starter, but he'll play and, and, and be productive. By the way, if this does happen for you fantasy owners, Take Jacobs high, because this is a three-down player. This is a guy with power, receiving ability, speed. Uh, he, can, he can do it all. There, he, this guy would be a really, really, really good pickup in fantasy football. I'm talking round one possibility. So, so if, if you're new, if you are a subscriber uh, to Andrews Football, you already know you're one of the greatest people on planet Earth. However... If you if you just stumbled on this video, you're a loyal cheesehead. Uh, you're just a fan of uh, NFL drafts. You're a fan of NFL mock drafts, or you're just a fan of awesome hats. There's this little red button right down here. See this little button? Check it out. It's red and white. Bam! Hit that button. Become one of the greatest people on planet Earth. Wait till tomorrow when I break down the Los Angeles Rams and the 31st pick in the NFL draft. I'll see you tomorrow.